Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick Red, and in this video, what we're going to talk about is why other social programs don't work for you as a professional. I've seen dozens of my students taking other social programs. They've done in person boot camps, they've done online coaching, and there's a common theme that they all have is that they were promised one result, but they never actually got there. And it wasn't because of any fault of themselves, it was because of the actual structure of the other programs. So usually for guys who don't have jobs, guys who are poor, guys who are broke, guys who just have more time, they can afford to actually spend hours and hours a day talking to random strangers on the street. But for professionals, it's kind of a different story. You have a nine to five job, you have to be somewhere at a certain time. You have people that you're held accountable to in your work. You don't just have this free flowing lifestyle that, you know, life is careless and free and happy and everything like that. No, you actually put in work, you're actually building an empire, you're actually doing something with your life other than just trying to talk with random strangers all day. So what I see with these programs is that they don't actually take into the account the problems that high performing professionals and entrepreneurs actually have with their life. So guys that aren't just making like $80,000 a year, but guys who are making $100,000 a year, guys who are making $40,000 a month, guys who actually have extremely high performing jobs. It's a big difference between guys who have kind of more, like th their time isn't worth that much, and guys who actually put a price tag on their time. So simply socializing, becoming more social, becoming a person who's better at talking to people, becoming a guy who just goes out more often are already ruled off the table. Because if you could actually achieve the type of lifestyle you wanted through being more social, well, you kind of would have already experienced that. If you're watching this, you've probably achieved some high level amount of success with your business. Maybe you're really fit after going to the gym and that isn't gonna get you the lifestyle that you want. You've probably already seen that right now. You thought that you'd be happy once you actually earned more money. High status guys, rich guys only have women around them because they have money and that's not really the case it's kind of the exact opposite in fact if you're not really intentional about actually building your lifestyle well you're going to end up with this kind of like caged feeling of a lifestyle you didn't even want in the first place and so with this in mind guys who simply just be try to become more social let's take that for route for example Social programs that just teach you how to become a more social, charismatic person. Well, that's great. You can become a more charismatic, social person, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to meet the type of people that you actually wanna be around. That doesn't mean that you now have magically have more time to go to social events. And you can be a really social person or a really rich person or a really fit person, but not have the type of people that you wanna be around. I've already experienced that myself. I've experienced the times where there are guys that are super social, but they feel super lonely. And I've also experienced the opposite of guys who aren't social at all, but enjoy events, actually able to have an amazing lifestyle. So there are guys that you probably already know right now that are not super social people, but have an incredible elite social lifestyle around incredibly high status people. And I would say that I'm personally kind of an introvert. I'm not, I don't think I'm the best person at talking on camera. It's always been something that when I would try to talk to people, I'd feel really frustrated because I felt like I was miscommunicating something, like I wasn't communicating something properly or there was something that they were saying that I didn't understand or something that I was saying that they didn't understand. And it really frustrated me because I tried to become more social and I took other social programs and my students have taken other social programs and they became a little bit more social, but it never brought them anything. It never got them to point X, Y, Z. It never got me the lifestyle or the type of people that I wanted around me, just becoming more social. Then the second part is just spending more time going out. Well, you can go out for a little bit more often, like when you have time or on the weekends, but it's kind of like these one-off wins. It's kind of something where you met somebody that you really enjoyed, that you wanted to actually build a long-term connection with, but for one reason or another, the relationship slowly died off. You guys just didn't have things that you were doing that were easily in common. For example, they worked night shifts and you worked day shifts and you met them on a weekend one time when they drove two hours to a, an event and you never get to see them again. Or you've had the opportunity where you've gotten your foot in the door 
but then you didn't actually know how to maximize that opportunity and you let that opportunity slip through your hands. So simply going out won't actually put you on a track to meet people normally in your life. You actually have to be super intentional about building your lifestyle and that your default lifestyle, the default things that you're doing in your life are gonna actually bring you into environments where you can actually meet really cool people. So instead of just going, walking around randomly on a Friday night when you have an extra six hours, actually realizing, hey, there's a really cool event where I can meet 100 to 150 people that are exactly the type of people that I wanna connect with. And not just connect with for that one time, but people that also invite you and bring you into other cool events, other cool social gatherings, and start really building your lifestyle around this. The last part that social programs really miss, and honestly, I think this is the most important part, is the difference between a party and a plan. Now, you can have a party, but it's kind of like a one-off win. You go off, you have a little bit of fun, but after I go to an amazing event, I'll be like, oh yeah, that was awesome. But then I'll go back to my normal boring life where I didn't know what the next social event that I was gonna go to. I didn't have any friends that were inviting me to, to events and parties and things that I actually wanted to go do. Um, I, I also took a trip, like for example, to Santiago, Chile uh, with some of my best friends and we got to go like snowboarding in the sand and it was the awesome thing. Like I wanna have more friends that do those types of things. And that was what I always dreamed of, but I never saw that as a reality because I never seen people actually get this part of their life handled before. So if you're just going to an event, well, you're trying to actually build a system for yourself. You need a one-off thing or you need one night of happiness. Well, actually creating a system of actually bringing people into your life, of actually creating your own social life, well, that becomes a lot easier. With social programs, they just kind of emphasize that, hey, go take action, go, go talk to more people. When you see that one person that you're walking by on the street, stop them and be like, hey, can I talk to you for a second? That's not really how people build lifestyles. That's not how you're gonna meet your next best friend. Ironically, I met my girlfriend through that, but it's because I actually understood what I'm about to talk about right now. The problem with other social programs can be solved with this golden rule. And that is that instead of trying to get these one-off wins in your life, trying to just get this one little thing that goes right for you, actually creating a system that kind of stacks the odds in your favor. What I call this is I call this the four hour work week of your social life. And the principle of a four hour work week in a business is very simple. You only work four hours on a business and it allows you to automate a lot of the things to other people. But let's talk about this in your social life. You don't need to spend 20 to 40 hours a week actually trying to meet the type of people that you want and doing the types of things that you want to do. It's something that you can really set up as a system for you that on certain days of the week, you're getting an invites by high status people that you actually wanna connect with at certain times to certain events that actually leave you fulfilled. Not just things that your parents or your friends wanted for you, or not just things that society told you were good for you, but the things that you actually want in your heart of hearts to actually achieve and do with your social life. So if you actually wanna learn how to build the four hour work week of your social life and not just how to become more social, not just how to spend more time outside or kind of get these one-off wins, but you actually wanna know how you can build up a system so you don't have to keep going through this struggle and strife day in and day out. Well, this is not for most people. This is for not guys who don't understand the power of mentorship that aren't willing to just like turn off their brain and simply suspend their disbelief that this isn't possible. Understand that radical change is possible. This is not for guys who are complainers that just wanna get a little bit of free information out of a consulting call and don't actually wanna implement this or become a next success story. So what I want you to do right now is click that link in my bio down below if it still works, because otherwise it might be filled right now. On that page, you're gonna be able to book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with either me or one of my expert coaches that we've seen other guys that have gone through whack social programs before where they emphasize exactly what I talked about in this video, but still don't have the type of social life that they want. We really give you the step-by-step -step plan of how you can actually build your four hour work week of your social life without sacrificing time for your money, without sacrificing time for your business, or without having to go through this giant stress of these one-off interactions. Really, we wanna give you the step-by-step -step guide to actually 
put into action building a system for your social life. So this is not for a lot of guys, but once you fill out that application, you actually get a spot to book a free consultation call with me or one of my coaches, and you can select the exact time and date that you want us to call you. So at that time, you're gonna get an email and we're gonna call you from a 702 Las Vegas number, and we're gonna ask you a couple questions to get to know you a little bit more personally. And don't worry, it's completely confidential. This is not gonna be shared with anybody else. So you can really be honest with us. And the more honest you are with us, the easier it's gonna be able to help you in your situation. So if you're not okay with the status quo, if you feel like you took social programs in the past and they didn't actually get you the type of lifestyle that you wanted, well, it's okay. That's the difficult part is actually realizing that you need help. That was the difficult part for me. There was so much pain that I went through for about two and a half years, thinking that I could figure it out by myself, thinking that this was something that wasn't possible for me, not understanding that I needed a system to actually meet people in my life. And that's okay, because right now, honestly, if you're watching this, then you don't wanna waste your time, you don't wanna waste our time. You can really find your next home with us here at Elite Lifestyle Mentoring. And I'm really grateful to have this opportunity because I've seen as you'll see here in a second, other testimonials and other case studies of guys who have actually put this into action and hopped on a one-on-one -on -one call and actually gotten the success that they wanted to, even after taking other social programs that they thought would bring them the same type of success. So if you watched the end of this video, again, you just wasted a bunch of your time and I'm not here to waste your time. You're not here to waste my time. I want you to, to literally be my next success story in elite lifestyle mentoring. So click that link down below hop on a call with either me or one of my coaches, and until next time, I will talk to you very soon.